What's going on guys, it's Sepp, and today we are going to be going over how to use airborne effectiveness, what about airborne effectiveness, and mainly how to counter it. So, airborne effectiveness is the brand new stat that they added into Destiny 2. It is what gives you the ability to shoot in the air. Now, first of all, you cannot see this in game at all. This is purely something that I'm going off of the research of what they've told us in TWABs, but we know it's in the game and they will add the in-game stat next season. So I'm going to throw a bunch of numbers at you. First of all, they announced Igneous Hammer has 23 AE. Now, AE is basically the short terminology for airborne effectiveness, and what does 23 get you? Gets you nothing. 23 is abysmal. The main goal to hit for you to have baseline Icarus grip is 60. You, if you hit 60 AE, then you are able to have at least enough to be able to shoot in the air straight. You'll have no uh, vary in your aim at all and it'll be a little less aim assist than it was last season. So 60 is our baseline goal, 71 is our overachiever. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna throw all the numbers at you right now. So Igneous Hammer has 23. Icarus Grip and Adept Icarus Grip both give you 15 AE. That is gonna bump us up to 38. Lucky Pants give us an extra 20 whenever we ready the hand cannon. This is specifically for hand cannons, doesn't give 20 to everything. This is 20 AE for hand cannon, so that gets us to 58. Then we have our sweet, sweet gunslinger build, where we're using Ember of Tempering. Solar Weapon Final Blows grant you and your allies increased recovery for a short duration, stacks up to three times. While it is active, your weapons have increased airborne effectiveness. Once again, no way to measure it. All we know is that it gives it to us. So let's say this gives us five, like at the bare minimum, it's at least giving us five. It's probably giving us 10, but I don't want to assume. So let's say we get five. That means after one kill, we already have better Icar better than Icarus Grip was last season. That is the goal. So this is the absolute best way that you can build around hand cannons right now, is purely with Lucky Pants and that new solar ability and using a solar hand cannon. Now let's say we weren't using solar hand cannon. We don't know what the airborne effectiveness of Palindrome is, so, you know, let's just say it's around the mid, let's say it's around 15 AE. And then Icarus gets, Icarus Grip gives it another 15, gives it to 30. Lucky Pants gets it to 50. And then it's not a solar weapon, so the highest you can get is 50. That means you're still going to have a little bit of RNG in the air, even with all this building. So, realistically, I really would recommend you guys try to use a solar hand cannon, if at all possible. The only other option is using Survivor's Epitaph or any other 180. Precision frames, they said specifically, get an extra 25 AE on top. So let's go over the numbers with this build real quick. Survivor's Epitaph, let's just give it a random AE. Let's say it's 15. Let's say it's low because Frontier's Cry is 17. They only gave us a few numbers to work with. So let's say it's 15. The X precision frame gives it another 25, so that's 40. Icarus grip gives it 15, that's 55, and it has 75 lucky pants. So 180's inner accuracy is going to be extremely good this season. Controller players, I know you love your 180's, and I really do think that there's going to be a place for them in the meta if you want to play relatively aggressively, because they are going to be very strong in the air. I can't wait till AE is in the game and we can go over exact particular numbers but for now this is what we have to go off of so i'm going to go ahead and show you how this build works with one the uh the igneous hammer in a game and uh yeah we'll uh, we'll see how well i can fire in the air because let's say i had stompies on instead of lucky pants i'm at zero i am at zero across the board and i am shooting random bullets left and right stompies are now purely a ground exotic and once I get in the flow of realizing that, then I'll make the Stompies video and show you guys exactly how to play Stompies. But for now, that's going to take time for me getting used to, so we're just going to go with this. All right, looks like we got a game of Exodus Blue. Definitely not as uh, big range of map as I wanted, so we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll see how this goes. So as you can see, that little jump definitely had perfect accuracy. Super glad to see that. Was worried that I went through all this and somehow the numbers were wrong. Going to continuously swap back to my hand cannon and make sure that we have that perk going. Yeah, this is quite literally going to be your best way to have inner accuracy these days. 
Chaperon go burn. Sadly, Ember of Tempering is gone. But we still have just enough. Come on, bub. There you go. Oh no. I flopped. And for everyone that knows me, I cannot stop jumping. That is absolutely my thing. Oh no, he had heavy. So it's definitely going to be a habit of mine. If I have to main lucky pants, so be it. I refuse to give up mobility. Will I be as fast as Stompies? No. Fine by me. We got elemental capacitor, so that reload's coming in clutch. Keep Ember of Tempering up as long as I can. Oh, getting shot in the back. Let's see if we can just get away from that. Oh, yeah. No, the inner accuracy is actually so good. If you guys have played at all and not built for AE, my lord, night and day. Let's go ahead and make sure that we're reloaded. Perfect. Whenever you get in a jumping fight with anybody else, you can pretty much perfectly predict it. Did that guy have heavy again? That sounded like heavy. People kind of spawn super hectic on this side, so I'm just going to keep running back and forth. Uh, that flinch is still going to get us. Hopefully you guys have a hand cannon. It's a little more built for flinch, as you can see. I, uh, <laughs> I'm using the igneous hammer that I have, and it was not quick snap because I thought I was always going to use arc with it. Let's go ahead and just play it safe. No reason to be throwing away lives. Now, normally, of course, you guys wouldn't jump nearly this much during a match. I'm being a little exaggerative because I want to show the cool thing off. Okay. Interesting. Take our time with our shots, because we know we have that inner accuracy. Perfect. And there you go. Quite literally, just perfect inner accuracy. It's back. All you have to do is build into it. And a Jotun... I didn't even know the Jotun Catalyst existed. I'm going to be honest with you guys. But as you can see, you can absolutely build into AE... Igneous Hammer, once again, has a base of 23, and then Icarus Grip gives it 15. Lucky Pants gives it an extra 20 whenever you're ready your guns. So we are dealing with a 58 roll, and then Ember of Tempering gives a number. We don't know what that number is. I don't know if there's an exact way to figure out what that number is, but until we get it, you are getting over 60, and as long as you have 60 with primary weapons, you have better than Icarus was last season. Because Icarus, they defined, was not perfect inner accuracy. It was near perfect inner accuracy. Now we have better than Icarus Grip. So, I appreciate you guys. If you liked the video, make sure to drop a like. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.